Thanks, Keeps, for sponsoring this video. And here's the true star of today's show, miso. For today, I chose to use the white miso. Now, miso at its most basic, it's a fermented paste that it's made by inoculating a mixture of soybean with a mold called koji. And if you've never had miso, I highly recommend you giving it a try. It has a very unique flavor and something which you will rather enjoy or hate. But today, we're going to be using to cook some beautiful steaks. Now, they're not prime grade, but at the same time, even though they are choice, you can see they have a very little amount of intramuscular fat. Remember, the more fat, the better. Now, this very first steak, we're going to be using it as our control. That means I'm not going to be doing any weird experiment with it. Just a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As always, I made sure to season both sides, including the edges. Now for my second steak, it's going to be completely different. I first started by seasoning it with a little bit of salt. Since I'm going to be using miso, you don't want to overdo it. And that's because I'm going to be applying a miso marinade. And to make it, it's super simple and here's how. Into a bowl, I threw in a little bit of garlic paste, followed by ginger paste, olive oil, cherry vinegar, low sodium soy sauce, and white miso paste. Mix everything well and bring it together. Because once you are done, you should be left with something like this. Now, I know what you're thinking does not look that appetizing. But hey, that's what miso looks like. Now, all there's left to do is to apply everything into the steak. As you can see, I left no edges behind. Because once I was done, take a look. That, my friends, is the miso marinated steak. And as always, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Because the only thing left to do now is to let it rest in my refrigerator for two hours. Now, our very third steak is going to be one of the easiest one. That's because I first started with a regular seasoning. That means salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. I seasoned both sides because once I have done that, it was time to apply the miso. And a good amount. Now come on, there's no way this is gonna work. I wanted to have the flavor of miso. So I went ahead and took it out and applied a reasonable amount. Now I also made sure to cover the whole steak with it. But a very thin layer. Just like before, I covered every single edge of the steak with it. As now the only thing left was to let it rest on my refrigerator for two hours. That was perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make this. It's called tamagoyaki, also known as Japanese omelette. Let me show you how I like to do it. The first thing is to go ahead and beat some eggs. Once they are done, set them aside. Because into a small container, I have a little bit of dashi water, followed by soy sauce, a good amount of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Mix that all together and throw it right into the egg mix. This will give those eggs a little bit of extra flavor, at the same time making it very delicious. To cook it, I like to use a tamagoyaki pan. If you don't have one, you can use a regular nonstick skillet. But if you like to cook this a lot, I highly recommend recommend investing in one. One other thing I like to recommend is to wet the paper towel with a little bit of oil. This way you will minimize the amount you're using. Because look, you just gotta rub it like this. Now before starting, I highly recommend using a measuring cup. This will make things a lot easier to pour little by little. Talking about that, to cook it, it's all about technique. Start by putting a very small amount. If any bubbles come up, just pop them. Because once they're starting to cook, go ahead and start the fold. Go nice and slow and like they always say, the more practice, the better. Once you have rolled all to one side, go ahead and add a little bit of more oil and another thin layer of the egg mix. Then roll everything into itself. Keep doing it until you reach the thickness you like. Now you don't have to stick with only one type of recipe because take a look at what I'm doing with the next one. This one is straight up eggs, nothing else. The technique is absolutely the same. Just keep rolling everything into itself. And having a non-stick pan definitely helps. If you like herbs, go ahead and use them. Here I'm just putting a little bit of parsley. And again, the technique is absolutely the same because once I was done, this is what I was left with. Four beautiful tamagoyaki ready to be enjoyed. When you slice it, you can really see all the layers. But most importantly, this thing is not overcooked. It is extremely moist and it has a wonderful texture in every bite. That is how easy it is to make Japanese omelette. And these are going to be perfect to go along with our steaks. Talking about that, after two hours, I took them out and this is what they look like. Not much has changed, but you can clearly see a little bit of the miso paste was absorbed by the steak. Now we're going to be determining if it's good or not real shortly. Because now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. For that, I'll first be putting a nice beautiful stew with some butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook them, so let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Did you know two out of three guys who experience hair loss by the time they're 35? So yeah, I'm one of those two and it's too late for me. But you watching me right now, yeah, you, you still got time. Keep that hairline intact, my friend. Keeps offers clinically proven, researched back treatment to stop hair loss and improve hair loss. With Keeps, you can get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office. Treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Keeps has a network of experts expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists that will give you 24-7 care and support. You can connect with your prescribing doctor anytime. They will establish a routine that works for you, and their physician will help you select the right products and treatments for your specific condition. So if you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, don't worry, Keeps got you covered. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash googlefoods on the link in the description. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash googlefoods. Thank you keeps for sponsoring this video but now let's get right back to it all right everybody here we have our beautiful steaks a little bit of japanese style eggs and i put this on this side for a reason yeah it's better that you put it on this side because we know he's not going to be indulging it <laughs> exactly anymore. he's not going to like it <laughs> anyway so we're all about the steaks i got a little experiment suggested by you guys all right so thank you for your suggestion i don't know if it's going to be bad or terrible or delicious i can't tell which i think looks better the the steaks or the side dish everything's presented so beautifully oh thank you leo you're making me blush <laughs> Damn. <laughs> i'm just really really hungry and it, it all looks delicious i just can't wait very to good so all right let's go ahead and go for this one right here guys i want to know your true opinion let me know how it tastes this is not a prime steak or anything fancy. Oh, you, you're rubbing it. Oh, you want some flavor? You said it's not a prime steak. Yeah, it's I was not. like, oh, well. <laughs> you're stealing the juice. Very first one, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's so perfect. There's something to be said about a grilled steak. A grilled steak equals love. That's all I can say about that. Tender, juicy. You have that, like, bite of charcoal does not get better than that people i'm telling you 100 percent agree it makes you want to go for like a second bite yeah <laughs> all right let's go ahead and try anyway. the second one come on <laughs> let's see wait wait, wait guys wait what word for what uh, like, like i, I, I want to try no 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 angel's got the right idea side dish those, oh okay yeah those that's right we're looking I at made it. the face I'm, I'm saying they're too beautiful i gotta try them so there's a little bit of different styles that you guys can see some have parsley oh, and then the that. other one has just Jesus. straight up eggs and then the other one has soy sauce so grab whichever one you guys want first now this should be extremely soft and tender it's basically japanese omelette you know what i mean that's what it is cheers everybody cheers hmm Oh my god. Eggs. Steak and eggs, bro. That's what it is. I think it's something to be said about getting eggs that are not too dry yeah. and like perfectly moist. Yeah. I, I like I like my eggs a little bit wet. Huh? Absolutely beautiful. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of wetness on your eggs is a must, everybody. Agree, yeah. Leo? <laughs> uh, 100%. I don't want some dry ass eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, no question allowed. Okay, okay. This is a family channel. Okay, I'm sorry. You're getting everybody. a little crazy. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, now let's go for the second steak because I'm curious to find out. You ready? Now, you should be quite different. Very second steak. Let me know how you taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's different. Wow. That one's juicier, I feel. That one has some Asian seasoning or something. Asian seasoning. That's good. Yes, Asian seasoning. Oh, man. It has an aftertaste hmm. that I'm not a fan of. I can't put my finger on it, but it, I don't like it. You <laughs> like, don't like it, Leo. Let me, let me be clear. I like the actual steak. When you originally bite it, yeah. you still get that charcoal flavor. It's juicy. I think this one is going to be extremely subjective because I really enjoyed this steak. But it's okay, you don't like it. How about you? What do you think, Angel? It tastes, it reminds me of like flavors that you get from like a ramen. Like I eat a lot of ramen, so like. True. It, it, it gives Very me Asian style. Something mm. Asian to it. I'll tell you one thing. I enjoyed this one quite a bit, everybody. It tastes nice. Very unique flavor. If you taste a lot of steak like me and Angel, we do. Maybe Leo is coming along <laughs> as well. Leo's now. getting there. Leo's getting there. <laughs> we want something different on our steak. And this provides me with that little flavor. I really enjoy this steak right here. Ready for the last one? Yep. Do it. I'm curious to find out what you guys think. Very third one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that one is very different. The flavor of that one just jumps right out to you. Like that's the first thing I try as soon as I bite into it. It's so you like this one? Better. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. The flavor <laughs> is the flavor profile of this one is. Head and shoulders completely different than the other two. Yeah. I must say the other two taste like steak. This one tastes like steak with a little something extra on it. It's it's weird. 
Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Steak with a little bit of something extra on it. This one is extremely subjective. This experiment is great, everybody, because if you like miso, you're gonna like these steaks. This is the miso experiment, by the way. You know, like miso, miso. soup? Miso. Wow. Yeah. So that's why you said ramen and stuff like that. What do you think? Do you like it? Or you don't like it? This one's okay. I like I like both of them. Okay, but which this one do you like the better? Best one, no, and this is the control because it's what we normally used to. These two provide a different type of flavor. I'll tell you what, this is made with a marinade with a bunch of stuff. This is straight up miso. Okay? I want to know from you guys which one do you prefer? Obviously the control is better because it's a more known steak flavor for us, alright? But besides these two here, do you like more straight up miso or the marinade, Leo? I'm gonna have to go with the straight up miso on this wow, one. Wow, what about you, Anjo? I like the miso more than the other one. I have. I like them both, and it's very close. Uh huh. But I think the miso is more subtle. Here's the deal. Very important. If you like miso, you will enjoy the steak. If you hate miso, don't even put it, everybody, because it's not gonna make you it amazing. You wanna know something? You mm. wanna know something? If you don't like miso, because I don't like miso soup, give it a try. Maybe try. Just, just check it out. Maybe try on a quarter of a steak, not the whole thing. Maybe. Get a small cut <laughs> and just see what's up. Now here I have miso, straight up miso, and sriracha. Would you like, sir? Oh, I'm making mine right now. Oh, you're making your uh, taco style? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I oh, see. Oh, here, Angel, just, just take this. <laughs> no, no, I already got one. Oh. Obviously, this will go extremely well with rice, but today we kind of rabbit food. Yeah? Lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right, cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Mm. I like that a lot. Love that. <laughs> Google. No curses. No curses. You know. Guys, I love me so. That's all I can say. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. Peace out, guys. If I must be honest, all right, if there's a lot of people in your family that does not like miso, a little bit like this with lettuce, amazing, everybody. I huh? have to agree. Yeah? Come on, a little bit. Do, do to come yeah, come on, Angel, just try it. Do Angel, to a contract, I have to. <laughs> See you guys next one. Take well, care. Otherwise. Bye-bye. <laughs>